Hey, how's it going guys? Patrick Jet here and welcome back to part number 3 of my Project Zomboid Let's Play. We've restarted here with a new life because in the last one, I, well, died in a bathroom in the dark alone and let the zombies all into my bathroom store where I was hiding, so that was not a good idea. So, I've restarted, I've put it onto normal difficulty, so I've got a little bit of an inventory here. I've got myself a school bag, I've got a baseball bat, a hammer, you know, a couple of the good things like some chips, a water bottle. Just a little bit of a basic starter kit for myself here. And I think the difficulty or the XP multiplier has been changed, but I really don't give much of a fuck about the XP multiplier because, I mean, I can kill zombies with a fucking pen, and if I can do that, then I don't really need to have much more skill than that. So, first things first, I've got to explore my house. I've only just respawned in this world, so let me just close all of these curtains here. Um, I have also picked up a couple of perks for myself. I chose... Is there a way I can actually see that? I chose... I chose... Hang on. I chose... Some perks, which I can't remember because I have the memory of a gnat. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did choose some decent perks. I didn't go for luck this time. It was more, um... Perks that will just work in my favour. I can hear a little bit better, see a little bit better. Well, not see a little bit better. I chose the one that was said short-sightedness. So, I can't really see that well. That is a lie. I think I chose the lying perk. Probably fucking mental case perk or something like that. I'm going to pick up the can opener. Actually, you know what? Instead of running out into the wilderness, why don't I just stay in my house? Since this is my house, I spawned here. You, you, you know what I mean? I might as well just stay here, use what I've got, and just scavenge all the other places. Uh, it looks like all my lights are on. I am a bloody bastard. I'm wasting electricity. Oh, good man. Didn't do it in here. Let me go close that curtain here. Don't want the zimbals looking in. Anything decent in here? A couple of uh, sheets, maybe? Nope. I haven't even checked my bathroom yet. What have I got? Ba bandage. A bondage. Oh, I've got a sheet there. Let me pick that up just in case I need it for a window. Because I'd like to get all of these covered. Because if you have one of these open in the past, I've had zombies just see for a little gap. I've stood there for a second. Can you see through here? Ah, oh! Ah, that makes sense. Ah, okay. I didn't know you could do that. Ah, cool. We're learning. We learn things every day. It's good. It's good. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, in the past, I've literally had a little opening like that. That's probably got... That is probably what's gotten me killed in the past. Just a little opening like that. So, if you don't close up all your cur all your curtains, all your windows, you will get a little bit of a zombie infestation knocking at your door. Is this a two-story house, or is this just going to be um, a one-story shamble situation? Mm, I might have to move to another house, actually. I don't like being on the ground floor, because then if I have a zombie come through, my idea, my plan usually was to head up to the second floor. I don't have a weapon. What am I doing? Do I have a baseball bat? Yes, I do. My plan usually was to head up to the second floor, lock myself in a room that has a window, Hope to God that I had some sheets or maybe make some rope out of clothes or something and just, like, um, pundle down out the window and run for my fucking life from about 50 zombies, which I'm probably about to get on me now. Come here, you bastard. What you got on you? Nobody else is going to hear this. Because they're too fucking scared to. You know what's coming to you if you try, love. Oi! I didn't tell you you could stand up yet. You see this? That'll be you in a second. See? It's been a second. Wow, dude, can you just die? Thank you very much. We're like the opposite colour spectrum here. You've got purple hair. I've got blue hair. You've got blue clothes. I've got purple clothes. I might keep you alive. I don't want to kill you. You're my clone. I'm alive. You're dead. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm sorry. In another life, we could have been soulmates. I will name you Sarah. For literally no fucking reason. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. It was time. Oh, man. Sarah, you fucking cunt. You didn't have anything decent on you. Like, fill over here. Bitch has a map and a notebook. Man was probably going to write some poetry or something. Oh, wow. I've attracted a couple of zumbles. Not good. Uh, she can go over there. Sorry, didn't mean to misgender you. Jeez. Not even going to try and attempt to get in there. I need to start seeing what's around in other houses as quickly as possible. My plan of action is to not get attacked by a zombie. Oh, 
Oh, no, nope, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Go the other way. Uh, my plan of action is to try and find somewhere secure. You know what? I'm going to stick with my main plan. Not main plan. My original plan. And stay in the house that I spawned in. Hopefully get some loot. Maybe a handgun or something to defend myself properly with. Because then I, I really don't feel safe unless I have a gun. That is my main thing that I usually look for. Some nails would have come in handy too. I should probably scout out the house just in case there's a zoom more walking about. There's usually one or two walking around in here sometimes. Sneaking about, waiting for you to turn into a cupboard. And then, uh, there's usually a gun in these things. And then they just usually fuck you over with nails and this plastic paintbrush. Probably won't need to paint you anything yet. A plate will come in handy though, thank you. Bar. What can we use a metal bell for? I don't know, it's a cooler baseball bat. Purple paint, uh, I mean, I'm already purple, so I don't really need any more purple in my life. It's too much purple for one guy. A book? Like, smart? What the fuck is up with this music, by the way? I mean, I'm not really in any danger, I think. I mean, there's a zombie down there knocking at the window, but... Ah, cool. There we go. I knew that would disable the music. M is to disable the music, just in case you guys needed to know that. Um, I remember you can use wire for barbed wire, maybe? I'm completely guessing on a memory from three years ago. And thank God for that. I found a decent better bag and some ammo. Now, is there something else there that I can use? Nope. Zombies! Oh, no. Just a dead man. You gonna come back to life, mister? No, you've got a couple of things on you, though. Uh, I probably need to take these seeds for the future. I plan on surviving for a while. Oh, sounds like a zombie. Yeah, you see that window down there? Look at that. The zombie's in. Zombie's in the house, guys. Okay. Let's go explore. I reckon there's probably a zombie inside here as well. Uh, I could risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Let's go... There's a zombie knocking on there as well. Hi, guys! Bye, guys! Looks like they're stupid. Okay, he's definitely seen me go up here, so... Oh, there's one at the door, too. You know what? I smell a sticky situation. I'm going to get out of the sticky situation before it actually gets sticky. I didn't check out this garage, either. I think. I don't know. I've got no memory. Nails? Cool. Glue? Probably coming handy. A welding rod. Welding rods. Cool. Some wood glue. That'll probably come in handy too. Ah, zombie's still there. That actually did scare me. The <laughs> fucking music did anyway. Um, no, don't think I need anything there. You're so nice. Thank you. You could have come round and killed me, but... I mean... Oh, no. I don't need to be telling you that. They're learning. No. Go away. Oh, fucking hell. I don't need to attract these guys to where I live over here, so said quite a forceful end to that snake wow they're gonna get through there quick you're not gonna, not gonna do anything mister good no, I'm not interested I'm not interested in what you have for sale or you no I believe in Satan bastards get away from me you fucking de degenerates can't even say the word you got me that riled up Get the fuck away from me, you stink. Anyone told you your breath stinks? Oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> fuck off. They won't know where I've gone. This isn't my house. <laughs> okay, knock on that house there. Thank you, bye. I don't think this is my house either. I think it is. Yes, it is. It's got the sheet on the door. Okay, what are those cunts up to? Let's open this slowly, which I can't do. Okay, they're banging on there. Close. Cool. We're safe, I think. We might not be safe for long. I'm not sure. Oh, no, we're not going to be safe for long. Fuck it, I've got to do a little bit of a zombie clearance. I've got to make these bastards know that this is my fucking house. I'll do this cleverly as well. Drag them into one area. No, I just got fucking... Hang on. I think I just got hit. Get off my house. We don't pay rent here. Uh, get out. Get out of my house. No, uh, might have to abandon my house. I refuse. It's mine. What the fuck are you doing? Leave the window alone. It's done nothing to you. 
Oh. oh shit, I tried to close the door. Oh my god, you're fast, are you? Aha! You've entered the house of pain! No? The house of clumsiness, looks like. Man, now you've fucked up my walls. And you had a baseball bat? You could have used that instead of trying to bite me. Actually, before I do anything fucking else, I've got to stop swearing. I swear I have Tourette's. Slight damage. Where? Does it say? Right click to show treatment menu. This is not doing anything. So, uh, let's go kill some zombies. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's too many zombies. I thought normal had, you know, less zombies. Oh, man, all the noise I'm making is probably attracting them. If I stay quiet and hide back here, they'll probably, they'll probably go somewhere else. I mean, they'll probably go somewhere else anyway, so... I know there might be one around here. Oh, there's two around here, so... Guys! Get the fuck back and stay the fuck down. Please! Thank you! Go. Thank you very much. Paper clip and some chips. I mean, do I really want to grab food off of a zombie? That can't be the most hygienic thing in the world, can it? I'm surprised I closed my door. That really can't be hygienic. That's all. Let's put away a couple of my goodies since I've actually looted decently. I'm going to hide back here before I get... Have I got a sheet? <laughs> no. Fuck. Have I got anything? Nope. Not there. Bookcase, you're my final hope. I hear a bit of banging, but I'm pretty sure it might be on this house over here to my left. So I think I'm in luck for now. Actually, where am I going? I'm going to put away my nails that I've got. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a little bit of, uh, little bit of progress at least. Let's put this stuff away. I put my seeds away in here as well because I'm probably not going to need them for now. Oh, it's going to take ages. God, I'm an old man already. Hurry up. Thank you. It really wasn't that long. I'm so impatient. Like when I was a kid, there was this video game called Disgaea. 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 I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. It's Japanese. Um. I played it once when I was really, really young. Around my cousin's house. It's now a PlayStation 2 game. Uh, oh, hang on. Story time in a minute, kids. Hello? It would have been a bit louder if it was in here. Okay. Yeah, literally, I worried my... I, I, um, I, I played it around my cousins once when I was really, really young. And I got addicted to trying to find it. And um, because the internet wasn't really... It was a thing, but it wasn't a thing in my house. We didn't have the, a computer. I mean, I didn't even know what the fucking computer was other than when I went to school. And um, it wasn't until a couple of years later, um, we got a computer. I found it online, ordered it. And I mean, when I'm a kid, when I was a kid, it was three days to get a game to me. And in those three days, I waited up past my bedtime. Literally made myself throw up from worry that it wouldn't get there. And um, had a day off school because I made myself that ill. Just because I waited for a video game and couldn't be bothered to wait for it properly. Yeah, I drove myself mad. I don't know why the fuck I just told you that story. It just came out of nowhere. <laughs> um, why don't I just put... Oh, I've completely gotten sidetracked here. I need my bullets... Battery can stay in there. All that shit can stay in there. That's cool. That's good for me. That is good for me. What else have I got in here? Anything decent? I haven't even checked out my actual house yet. So, what have I got? I might even have a pistol without even knowing it. i put the chips in here. You may be saying, why the cold chips which didn't even go in the fridge? Cool, worked out in the end. You may be saying, no. Why would you put chips in the fridge? Because I'm mad. Haven't you figured that out by now? cold pack of a couple of can openers that's good for me some matches a radio uh, a dead mouse um, I mean I don't need it but I'll leave it there just in case I might need it <laughs> I might need it in the future uh, looks like I've got a decent little setup here cool Okay, so my next plan, if I am clever enough to do so, is it night time? Oh no, no, it's not night time, Patrick. I'm going to go scavenge some other buildings, see if I can get some more planks of wood or something. I'm going to go through the window here. 
Actually, that's a bad idea. I don't want to cut myself yet. I don't want to do any damage to my actual body as of yet, or at all. I'd like to live unharmed for at least more than two parts. I mean, that was pathetic in the last life. I'm going to end up dying even more sadly than I did last time, aren't I? Close this. I know you're there. Oh, God, there's another one there. You can just go on the floor. Thank you. Ha! Didn't expect that, did you, bastard? Didn't mean to break the window either, to be honest, but... You know, collateral damage and that. Anything in the dryers for whatever reason? Why not? Might as well look. A sheet, nice one. That'll come in handy. Some bleach and a bottle of disinfectant. Don't know why it might come in handy in the future. I need to equip that um, hiking bag in a moment as well. One of you remind me to do so. I know, you, I know you can't possibly remind me to do so, and you're thinking to yourself, Patrick, we can't do it. We can't remind you right now because we're already watching what's going to happen, and you guys know what's going to happen before I know what's going to happen because you could skip ahead right now, five minutes into the future. But <gasps> Did one of you do that? Did one of you just spawn a zombie in front of me? You know what? I'm already dealing with a zombie infestation. I don't need a ghost infestation either. So, thank you very much for your time. A uh, goodbye. What does this fucker have on him? I don't need that shit. Fucking zombie ghost popping in and out like that. I mean, you could have climbed through a window, but I'm not gonna fucking risk it. Man, this place looks fucked up. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad idea, bad idea. And he slowly walks through the zombie hordes. Undetected. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, bollocks. That was me. That was me. I climbed through a window without even thinking. Oopsie daisy. Back to home. Off we go. Toodle pip. Are you going to follow me? Nah. He said hours before he died. What do I have on me? Bleach? Ah, oh, perfect. I should drink it. I hear a little bit of banging still, which isn't good for me. Uh, I need to add a sheet. Before I do anything. Actually, I need that for bandages. I probably have clothes for that. These guys have clothes. Yeah, I'm going to do that. There we go. I think I might put it over the door because they seem to be here more. <laughs> and it's really, really annoying. I like them there. Uh, I don't know where to... I think I'll add it to the door because then it's more aligned to the door there. But then the window's directly opposite it, Patrick. Fuck it, YOLO. We like to live riskily in this video, bitch. Yeah, boy. We might survive for more. Huh? They can't see me. Cool. Nice. Okay, right. I need to really fix myself back up. Uh, what do I have? Uh, oh, I'm a zombie. Ooh. Pricks. Uh, that didn't do much. Uh, maybe I should have put it on my forearm. Um, uh, let me get some clothes off these fuckers. Playhouse, so if I rip into clothing, rip clothing, all of it, there we go. Your boy knows how to survive. Don't worry. I think. Disinfects all of them. Who doesn't like a sterilised rag? Oh, damn, I couldn't use them all. There we go, apply there. And hopefully... Booyah Kasha! He's fixed it. Now if I get myself fed, that should hopefully fix me back up as well. Because when you're actually fed properly, it um, increases your healing. Severe damage. Oh god. Come on, fix yourself, man. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You're fine. There we go. Well fed. Cool. Probably do some painkillers or some actual warm food. Warm food usually does it, maybe? I think. Uh, have I got a... I've got a bowl. I've got a can opener. And I do indeed think I have... Saucepan. Nice one. We're getting there. Cool. Okay. Uh, hang on. 
Did I not pick up the uh, tomato? Oh, I thought it was like tomato soup or something. I don't know. Nope, that didn't do it. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hang on, I figured this out. Is there a zombie at my door? Hang on. Hello? Hello? Excuse me? Sir, do you mind? Oh, fuck. My window. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. <sighs> at least he has some chips. I think there's another zombie at my door. That's probably the one that I fucking picked up from over there and said... Oh, four hours later, I'm going to die. When well, aren't I clever? I think I'm too clever sometimes for my own good. Oh, dirty bandage. Man. Oh, that plank will probably come in handy now. Food can come later. Hang on. Let me fix up this window. DIY man to the rescue. Nails will need. Not one. Oh, grab half. Whatever. Is it Q grabbing? Yes, cool. I didn't know he did that. Okay, awesome. Uh, right, that's all I needed. Oh, this is going to make noise. Remove broken glass. I could just... I mean, any zombie could then walk in. I don't need to do that. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, really? I've got to reapply bandages? Oh, that's fucking stupid. I mean, it's realistic, but... <laughs> Whatever. Hang on. You prick. There we go. Nice and bandaged up. Now don't get dirty again. I mean, geez, that was really quick. Doesn't it take like a few more hours than that? Fuck it. Barricade, do it. Do it. Do it quick. Come on. Oh. Oh. Surprisingly quick. Okay, hopefully that didn't attract any zombies. It probably did. Oh, I know what he was doing. He was equipping the hammer. Okay, cool. My man's on the case. Don't worry. He's got it. He's got it. I really should have faith. I could build a spite baseball bat. Yeah, boy. Oh, of course, there's a crafting menu. I need to start playing with this big time. Guys, actually, you know what? I need to use your knowledge of this. You guys have played this more recently than me. What do I need to do first? I mean, what do I need to make first? I mean, I could look. Oh, I can make a spear. Yeah, but it's like, every time it's like, tree branch. Where do I get tree? Wait. No. No fucking way you can get wood from trees now. <gasps> yeah, that was only a dream. Ah, oh, the dream is real. I hope the dream's real anyway. You know what, guys? My throat's starting to hurt anyway. I'm going to call it a day for this part. So thank you very much for watching. I think we've started off pretty nicely. I mean, we've secured the house. Just about... There's no more zombies knocking on the windows anyway, so we should be a little bit safer for now. So thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next part very soon. Love you all, bye bye.